Hello, hello. All right, so I've run out of my body butter and I have a video out there making this, um, but I'm gonna make it for you again today just so that you know how easy it is to make your own products so that you know exactly what you're putting on your skin and they are just as effective, okay? Just as effective. All organic um, carrier oils, essential oils on your skin, it's just as effective as the synthetic stuff um, full of chemicals. Don't want that, okay? You want nice skin without the chemicals. So today I'm going to use 100% organic unrefined ivory shea butter. You can get this off of Amazon. I'm gonna use a half a cup of this. And then you can purchase organic virgin coconut oil. I'm gonna use a half a cup of that. I'm going to use sweet almond oil. Sweet almond oil is very moisturizing. Um, if you have older dry skin, like even if you're making a face serum or a face moisturizer, this is very good for that. If you have oily skin, I would go with Jehovah oil or Jehovah oil and grapeseed oil or like a sunflower oil. If you have normal skin, I would go with probably see, olive oil or coconut oil, something like that. I'm also going to use vitamin E oil and I'm going to use all organic rosehip oil. I bought this off of Amazon too. I'm going to use a couple drops of that or dropper fulls. And then my essential oils are going to be cypress, frankincense, patchouli, and lavender. All good skin oils. And what you want to do is you want to get a stainless steel bowl and you're going to put this over a pan of water, kind of like a little double boiler action. And you're going to put your half a cup of shea butter and your half a cup of organic coconut oil in here and you're gonna melt it over low heat. All right, and I'll show you what that looks like when I come back. Okay, so now I have all of the coconut oil and the shea butter melted using a small pan of water and then I just put this stainless steel bowl or you could use another pan um, just over the top little double boiler action and then all you do is you wait till this cools now you do not want to put essential oils in extreme cold or extreme hot boiling heat because it could alter them all right um, they do evaporate because they're all organic um, so you want to make sure the lids on tightly and you don't want to put anything in something really really hot anyway because they could evaporate from the heat um, or they could be altered so I'm gonna wait for this to cool a little bit you like my shirt I know you'll probably see it backwards but it says hotter than a hoochie coochie because it is hotter than a hoochie coochie today. Drink plenty of water, and I don't care how much money they're paying you, if you feel sick, lightheaded, like you're gonna faint, or you're going to throw up, get down off that ladder, stop what you're doing, go tell whoever's in charge, and go home, all right? Because no amount of money is worth you dying in this heat today. I'm sorry. All right, so I'm gonna let this cool a little bit and add my oils. Okay, so I've got this cooled down a little bit, and now I'm going to add the rest of my carrier oils and my essential oils. So, my recipe here calls for a teaspoon of vitamin E oil. Vitamin E, as we all know, is very, very good for the skin and then my recipe calls for a tablespoon of 
of sweet almond oil because we want our skin to feel moisturized. And that is a good oil. And then I'm going to use two droppers of all organic rose hip oil. I might have to do this three times here. Apologize for the dryer going in the background, but today is laundry day because I don't bartend. Okay, and now I'm going to add my essential oils. And I'm going to add five drops of each. Patchouli is a blend, so this is a blend of more than one oil. Very good for your skin. Okay. And then I'm going to add cypress. Mm, smells so good and so good for your skin. Just five drops, that's all you need. Frankincense, do not need to tell you oh, how good frankincense is for everything. We even have frankincense vitality where you can um, add it to a vegetable capsule. Purchase those off of our website too if you want to use the vitality oils and take them internally. All right, so now I'm going to mix all of that up and I'm going to let it create its little synergy here. Just get it all going. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this in the fridge and let it cool to the point of it's hardened. And then, but I don't want it hard as a rock. <laughs> so I want it soft yet firm. Okay. And then I'm going to whip it up with my mixer and I'm going to add it to a container. I always save my containers for this reason. All right. See you in a bit. All right. So I had this in the fridge and as you can see, it's not hard as a rock. You should be able to poke your finger into it. And now, using my trusty mixer, I am going to mix this up so that it's fluffy and easily put into a container. I'm telling you right now, guys, it smells so good. And making your own products is so easy to do. Like, get your kids involved. There's nothing that I put in these recipes that's going to harm your children by them accidentally touching them, okay? And if making your own product isn't something that you're into, well, we sell all of our body butters and lotions pre-made on Young Living's website. It's all organic, all natural, plant-based products. So it's going to whip up like that. Does that not look divine? <laughs> and it smells so good. So good. And the nice thing about this stuff here is it melts as soon as it touches your body. So a little bit goes a long way. Now if you wanted to, you could put peppermint in this. Peppermint would be cooling and soothing on your skin, especially on these hot days. Um, or you could just keep it in the fridge because you want it cold on your skin when you add it. But wouldn't you rather have something like this versus something that has a chemical in it that you can't even pronounce? Look at that. All natural, homemade body butter. It's going to last you a long time. It smells good supports skin health, treat yourself.
get your whole family involved. And if you're interested in joining Young Living and learning more about essential oils, reach out. You know where I'm at. Okay, be safe today. Bye.